I've decided to do a little video tonight. Um, I've got home from work. I've uh, been out doing my uh, gardening uh, for my little business and uh, yeah, just sitting in my lounge, had my dinner and uh, just sitting with my best friend, um, Shirley Cat. She's a 13 year old Burmese kitty, aren't you? And I've had her for about oh, five years since I adopted her from a friend. She's a very lovely cat. And uh, so yeah, I thought I'd just do a, a little video on, uh, I'm going to be fixing my handbrake on my Alpha 33 tonight. So uh, it's something I need to do because I'm using it actually um, today for a daily driver um, towing my uh, my um, trailer um, with my mowers on. So that's just temporarily whilst I'm uh, actually just um, basically fixing um, a little bit of rust and doing some painting on my Mondeo wagon which I usually use for my business and then also I haven't finished the other one yet so um, really it's just a bit of welding a bit of um, body work and a bit of painting left to do so I started that on Sunday night and uh, so today um, yesterday and today I've been using my uh, Alpha but I drove up the driveway this evening and I pulled the handbrake up and there was a terrible ping and unfortunately the handbrake um, a little spot weld is broken so I'm gonna have to fix that tonight there's uh, no way around it so I think um, I should be able to uh, fix it so had my dinner so I'm gonna go and get on with it so this is in my other room and I've got uh, my other cats of course, uh, this is Kimmy, and hey, Kimmy, and this is Katie. They're six-month-old little kittens, and uh, the mum cat's somewhere around here. Not sure where she's gone, um, but anyway. So yeah, this is the handbrake, and um, this is the bit that's broken. So the end of that is electronically, obviously, spot welded like that and it's not really much of a um i mean it's 30 years old so it's just finally given up so that's electronically obviously spot welded through like that i suppose i'm not too sure how whether they earth this and make that positive and then when it goes together it goes like that I'm not sure if I can replicate that, but what I think about doing is drilling a hole in the top, pushing this through so I can see some, and then tack welding with the MIG up to here. I thought about gluing it in all sorts, but I don't think glue is going to be strong enough, um, to be honest. And um, what else? I thought maybe uh, need it which is that uh, epoxy resin putty. but I don't think I've got any of that left um, so the difficult thing is so this is my 1989 Alpha 33 1.5 Ti so they've obviously changed it at some point so this is probably a weak point that says 33 Neovia Neovia not sure what it says looks like n u o v a maybe maybe it's uh italian but anyway so this little bit goes in here and then the spring sits against that in the end and then that goes well, that goes in first all the way through Basically that goes in all the way through and that's captured through this part here like that and then this goes on through here with that that obviously goes in there but that's a bit tricky to get in and then that goes on there so if I drill a hole in that and then use some I don't know blue tack and some sellotape and stuff to hold it all in place and hold this down then hopefully I'll just go and do a little tack weld on there so that's the whole idea 
And I can't leave out, this is Baz. Mr. Baz. Hello, Mr. Baz. So he's a de-sexed um, male bunny. And uh, he goes out and gets some exercise, but uh, really he just lives inside here. He's quite happy, nice and warm, and uh, keeping the cats company. So, um... Okay, so I'm in the garage and I'm having terrible trouble fitting the uh, little bit of plastic, which is here, back into here. And I don't know, it must be held captive somehow and that must have broken as well. Um, so I'm going to try and get this plastic off without breaking it so I can actually get in there and pop this back in. Okay, so that was actually quite easy. So that just pops off like that and slides off. And I just gave it a very light tap like that to get it off. So, as you can see here, this bit, oh, I think it fits in like that. Where is it there? I have to do some more investigations to figure out how that was fitting in. I think it was fitting in like that. Oh yeah, it fits in like that. So, and then this should slide back on, but what I want to do is I want to stick it in there, some glue or something just to hold it a little bit more captive in there. And the spring goes on to here, and then pushes down like that. It's probably the spring that holds it in, but because this is broken, I'm going to have to find some other way of doing it. Okay, so what I've done is I've put, as you can see this, oh, it's not very bright, hang on, put the light on. Okay, so what I've done is I've put some blue tack to hold this in, and I've popped the spring over the top, and I've put the rod back in, and that's fully extended out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some blue tack around here, and that's going to hold it all in place whilst I weld that on there. But I've got to, I think the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, can you see that with the light in there? Okay, so the next thing I've got to do is drill a little hole in that end piece the size diameter of that piece of metal so that will stick through and then I can spot weld that back together okay so I've got the whole handbrake um, ready for the spot weld now because this is all under preload of a high tensile spring in there uh, it's all got to be in the right place so I've drilled the hole and I've got the little end just pointing out so I'm going to get that just sitting almost flush like that and then that's enough just to spot weld that back in um, so I've also got this all captive because that's obviously all um, Otherwise, it will all fall apart, and then I'll never keep it together in order to weld it. So, I'm going to get the welder out and give this a crack.
Can break again. Fixed. Okay, so that's fixed. It's not the prettiest. It was really hard to see, but I've ground it down so it's nice and smooth. And I might stick some paint on, but I'm going to put it back on and test it first to make sure it doesn't snap. And uh, then I might just blob some paint on there. Okay, so I had a bit of a fiddle around with it and it actually was a little bit difficult because it kept on seizing inside and when I took it apart again that piece of plastic had actually come loose again and come out. Okay, so I put it back in and it kept on jamming. So what happened was the button, um, when I pressed it in, would get stuck in and it wouldn't come back out. So I thought, well, maybe it's something to do with my welding. So I sanded that down and checked it and uh, it wasn't anything to do with that at all. So I actually decided to take it back out and I had an idea of what it actually was and it turned out to be in that part there there's a the long bit where I welded the end onto coming down here there's a hook and that hook had splayed out a bit 
and it was on the angle when that metal arm pushed out like that it would end up pushing on an angle and pushing that against hard against here and trapping it so i had to take it all apart again put it in the vise hammer it um, into a better hook angle and then lubricate in against here and also sand it down so just in case anybody else has that kind of issues um, that's the cause of its like long-term wear on that part so it's just basically put in a vise hammer it with a bit more of a a u type shape um, and then lubricate in here and sand it down and that will clean it up and get it working again okay Sorry about the lighting, it's absolutely pitch dark and because the handbrake broke, I couldn't really um, get it, well, I've got too much other stuff in the way anyway, so I'm just doing this on the drive where I stopped. Anyway, so I've had to go and find some washers because I managed to lose a washer, whether I think it might not have actually have had it on, but I've replaced a couple of washers in there, um, in there and... Uh, I put it on this way because I just found it so difficult to actually get this out because of the tension on this. So I've actually taken, where is it? I've taken this, it's very dark. I've taken this off prior to actually, I've taken everything off apart from this part attached to the cable and I found that was the best way of doing it, the easiest way. So, because it's all under tension you see, so unless you're going to go underneath the car and slacken it off under there um, so then basically you've got to fit this in slide it in and there's little plastic washers that have got to go underneath right so it's all done bit of a mission because it had that extra bit of damage because of old age basically but for 30 years it's done a pretty good job can't really blame that so perfect the button works perfect nice and fast and springy and uh, yeah so I'm going to have a can of tea and hit the sack thanks for watching